They're still. It's like janky. It's still fucked up. Yeah, it's definitely not right. Right. Well, my camera's not fixable. Hey y'all, I don't know why it always feels like I end up in Chicago at least once a year. And like last time, I'm going wild to brick cold, but but this time with a different purpose, which is, um, which which, which is which is no purpose really. I don't know. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know what today seems kind of odd. No walking from the door, no smoke. And mama took the breakfast with no talk. I got my girl What up? It is um, it's six a.m. And um, I'm heading off to Chicago. And now I'm here. I'm really terrible at doing transitions, but um, yeah, I'm here. Some night photography head ass. Brandon Wolfel. Okay, this rolling. is the intro of my video. <clears throat> hey guys, Tyke here, back again with my video, and. Today we're going to be taking a tour of DePaul University and uh, today we are, uh, have our counselor guide right here, Dr. Miles Somerville. And we have What's our up? cameraman back there, Beam. I am a doctor. Hi, my name is Eric. I is that good? Cut. Good. Good job. Everybody, good work. Good work. We'll just run it back and... Okay. So <laughs> honestly, yeah, that's what this video is practically going to be about, I guess. My friends, Eric and Miles, go to uh, DePaul University and they're film students there. And I'm gonna follow them around for the day. So I guess I can just call this um, the day in the life of a film student or something like that, like Elliot Choi. Wait, guys. oh, wait. Do you, you put your ISO on auto? Yes. And your, and your white balance on auto? Hi, Taiga. It is good to see you. It is very, it is indeed very good. Where's your microphone? I don't, I don't have it with me. We anything. had this, we had this exact same conversation last time I saw you. you. Remember, on the bridge in Portland? This is the part where you pop that footage in. Boom. All right, hey guys, Ty here, back again with our video, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Portland. You don't have your mic on. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should just actually cop like a new camera instead of sitting around waiting for my quality to magically get better with absolutely no money or gear. And see, buddy poops at the ball. And that's fact. Shit, let me bust out my shit. <laughs> and that's Miles, and the first thing we did as film students was, you guessed it, helped filming a video, but while doing so, we got a gig offer to shoot, I guess, I, th I think? We gotta go. Yep. I. Do you wanna whisper to the mic what just happened? Oh, we walked in here and they saw our cameras, and they just, it was just like, do you wanna shoot an event on Friday? And we are like, yeah. <laughs> what class are we going to right now? Screenwriting. What is that? What does that entail? Okay, so ready? You got your screen. Pew. 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 I need you to add oh, after effects here. Okay. Pew. Screen, right? Words. 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 It's up going up right there, yep. Words. Mm hmm. All the words. <clears throat> Killed it. And that's screenwriting. Yep, this is all the notes I got while I was in class. It seemed like an actually, it seemed, it seemed like an actually good class, but the entire three hours, it was just going over the s screenplays from students. Uh, so I dipped out and got the worst haircut ever. So I was, I was rocking a beanie the entire rest of the day, I think. But anyways, I met back up with Miles and he gave me a quick tour of some sort of a building. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, so this is, uh, Jackson Station we're coming out of right now. If you're a film student at DePaul, you'll be getting off at this station a lot if you take the train. I don't know what else you would take unless you live right in the loop because you're rich or something. The first building we have here is the uh, Richard M. Maggie C. Daily Building. This is the uh, building where a lot of film students and students in other degrees in the field of communications will go. All right. So this is it. 
this is where uh, our school stores a lot of our camera equipment. This is also where the class is taking place that I'm supposed to be in right now. But for <coughs> demonstration purposes, I had to uh, for this omit my presence. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Following him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a prospective student from LA. So oh, hi. Cool. Well, do, do you want? Oh, yeah, no. All right, cool. cool, cool I look cool. good, anyways. So, is this what's this video about just for you? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just random. Like him. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so, this is the cage. Um, this is an equipment center here at the Loop that's oh, basically houses <laughs> anything that you need to make a movie. I'm so sorry. I really can't have a clip of her talking five minutes straight i'm so sorry she seems nice but basically what she says is that they have a lot of equipment that you can rent anything you can imagine pretty much for film and communication majors and stuff from lighting lenses cameras videos underrated and most important rooms that this school and that this campus has to offer is the bathroom <laughs> swipe your ID to get in, you go in, you handle your business, you get out. This is how we work here at DePaul. We get things done. But it all starts with the bathroom. Same as sequence ro rolling. When going to a film school, you're going to have a lot of idiots who break cameras. Uh, one of them being the person who's refilming me right now. So yeah, like always, I break things in Chicago and this is my facial expression when I realized I broke my film camera here and I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's definitely not right. Right. Well, my camera's not fixable. Pretty much that's what he, he, he advised me to buy a new one. Yep. Yeah. This is... <gasps> No, this is not fucked. This yeah. is the CDM building. I think I'm going to show you something that I haven't shown that nobody else has shown you yet. Oh, really? Shut up. Like, if you're working on something, it's totally chill. Oh, damn. No, no, I'm just like chilling. Yeah, what's up? Haha. I'm going to green screen myself into something right now. Um. Yeah, this room is dope. I'm in uh, Australia right now. <laughs> You're in Australia? I'm on fucking fire. I'm chilling. It's probably not gonna work because of the shadows. No, it's gonna Wait, work perfectly. I think it's this this way it works perfectly. So right now you're in Australia. Oh, you wanna know something? I made that mark. Stupid. <laughs> After we made a new <laughs> friend, we headed back to the theater school to uh, meet up with Eric and also attend an audition for a film Miles was working on. So that's dope. So uh, we just, we just uh, made a new friend. We yeah. walked in the studio, we made a new friend, and at the end of the day, we just smoked out, stretched out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. That's always how it goes, right? That's the day of the day? No. No, that's not how it goes? No, no smoking. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I'm a sober man. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no cat, no cat. We have an ID conference to shoot, but it just We're not going. it just uh, overlaps. See, here at film school, you have to prioritize. You know, you have to sometimes make decisions. That means not everything gets shot. But as long as you're making you, you're yeah, DPing I'm a project. DPing, I I was brought on to DP a shoot, and we're doing auditions, so I can kind of see see who works on camera, who doesn't. You know, so some hearts are gonna get broken today. <laughs> The what's what's the film that you guys are working on? What? <laughs> what? Um, there are multiple scripts. I don't know which one we're going with. Um, I think it's for the uh, 
We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. I'm just going to read page three. It's a car scene. Oh, okay. So, okay. obviously, I will you pretty imagine it. I'll just be here. The hell do you know about babies? I, I, I don't know much about babies, so I don't know. Had a daughter. So, where? Next right. Boyfriend's place. The time is uh, six forty-nine. So I need you to start thinking about think ways to shoot the car scenes. The auditions went good, uh, I suppose, and after a long day of classes, filming, attending auditions, we were up for a celebration that night. No, you gotta get in a vlog. Oh, I'm vlogging you. Oh, shit, you're vlogging me, bro. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Takoya. Ew. So, we are at DePaul, one of the, the dorm buildings of DePaul. And Eric is a freshman, so he has to stay in a uh, dorm. Right? <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to? Yeah, DePaul, DePaul is the only school that, that doesn't make you live on campus. Freshman year, I was Good in the to apartment. Know. So, we just met Alex, Eric's uh, big drug dealer. He provided to him cocaine, fentanyl, oh, yeah. alcohol, uh, meth. And if you come Shrooms. to DePaul, all you need to do is add me on Snapchat to get it all for yourself. Yeah, dude, just add him on Snapchat, link down below in the description, and you'll get plugged up. All the details, it is currently 9.29, 9.30. I am just, uh... Ironing a shirt. All right, so this is the day in the life of a filmmaker. Cinematic sequence right here. I'm about to go to a U Chicago party now. Um, it's a Great Gatsby theme. They're supposed to dress now, but um, so I just. Yeah, that's literally the only clip I got that night. I'm so sorry. I really don't remember much else at all. Um, and I didn't really feel like filming. But um, the party was all right. University of Chicago kids are weird as fuck, though. They're so weird. And um, just like that, I'm back home. Um, I feel like this video is going to be like super random with not a lot of context clues. So I figured I'd give you some before... Um, I end this video. So visiting DePaul was um, dope. Um, it's a private university and its main campus is on like Lincoln Park or something like that. And But they do have like campuses and buildings all w within the city, within the loop itself, which I don't know how I feel about that. I like how convenient it is and it does make sense for a metropolitan city like Chicago and how it's similar to like NYU is. NYU is structured like that too. But, you know, it, it takes away a little bit of that, you know, that authentic college feeling you get out of a, a regular closed off campus. But yeah, their film department is pretty top notch and their theater school is uh, pretty good as well. So they tend to collaborate a lot on a lot of projects and like how we saw earlier with the auditions, we get to work with actors from the theater school and it's like a mutual beneficial relationship because we get actors and they get uh, demo reels out of it, so which is good. And all of their classes that I visited or like I shadowed with Eric and Miles, they were all pretty decently sized. None of them were like super big lecture halls because it's not a general ed class, it's like a film class. Um, and the immediate networking you get when you go to the school instantly is, is pretty is pretty convenient and amazing. Now, I was considering going to DePaul for a long time, um, like going with Eric and De um, Miles, but I don't know. I have bad luck with Chicago, man. Th like this time, I broke my film camera. One sec, let me. I broke this camera, my f my my film camera, and I break everything or lose something every time I go to Chicago. So I I just have bad vibes with Chicago. Um, I also don't want to leave LA. Well, that's well, that's. Well, that's not true. I do want to leave. That's a whole nother video and discussion that we could talk about. But anyways, um, DePaul was dope. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm still considering going. I have applied, so I could transfer there whenever I want to. But that's the end of this video. Um, bye, I guess. <laughs>